Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today is Monday, the 1st of August, and Kelsey and I are in Anguilla. Obviously, you, you can tell by the title of this vlog. We got here earlier this afternoon, well, late this afternoon, like around like 3 45, 4 o'clock, and it was a very long travel day. I'm exhausted, but I was so like overwhelmed with like excitement when we first got here because it's so gorgeous here. Um, at the beginning of the vlog, I did like a little mini like room tour for you guys so you can see what the room looks like. We're staying at the Belmond Cap Julaku, I think that's how you say it. It's gorgeous. It took a journey to get here, but when we got here, it was so worth it. Cause like I said, this day was so long. We've been up since like 5.45 this morning. It was a very long day from the airport this morning to getting here, then going through customs and from like them double checking to see if you have a vaccine like the vaccine card i don't know how many times you have to pull out your passport just letting you guys know if you travel like internationally just leave your passport out just leave it out don't even put it up because they're gonna ask for it like every five seconds um and it's just so so much stuff to keep up with so traveling you have to be super organized and responsible because it'll get stressful if you're not like i said it's so worth it like when we got here we had like an hour and a half on the beach today. We don't want to have like a wasted day of travel and not spend a little bit of time at the beach. So we like did that for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. And it's so, so pretty. The beach here is gorgeous. Clear water, like it's literally just their beach. They don't share it with other like resorts or anything. Like it's so, so pretty here. You can tell that this is a very secluded resort because it's like very like separate from the other like hotels and stuff we had to take a boat to get here and then we had to get a car from the airport a car drove us to a boat and the boat took us from st martin we landed in st martin we didn't fly into anguilla i don't even know if you can fly into anguilla because it's surrounded by so much water um so we flew into st martin from atlanta and from st martin we had to take a boat to Anguilla so that was a process and then after that they drove us here to the resort so it was quite a journey like I said but it was so so worth it and this room is like the perfect size because y'all know I don't like two like big big rooms they feel really cold but this is like the perfect size for me and Kelsey it's like so like bohemian but still modern but not too too modern because I don't like too modern I still like character it's very nice although Kelsey and I thought that people can see us naked like this is the shower right here and like that's outside right there like so we had to call somebody in here and ask if they could see us because because I don't know if it's safe to like leave all the lights on at night because I feel like people could see us like showering and stuff but I told her we could just go to the other side and see if you can see in here. So we're going to leave the lights on when we go to dinner. We'll see. That's where we're on our way now. We're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to the Italian restaurant they have here. It's called Sips by Cipriani, I think it's called. We're going to go there tonight. I'm starving, but I'm also really exhausted. So I'm pretty sure Kelsey and I are going to be out like a light tonight. Because we're night owls, but tonight I'm getting my sleep because like I said, it was a very, very long day. And when me and Kelsey were uh, like getting ready earlier, we were saying how like exhausting traveling is. And I don't see how people do this with kids because it's exhausting when you're like just by yourself. Like how y'all do this with kids? How people travel with kids? Because it seems like so much work. Kelsey said the kids, like her kids gonna have to wait till they get a job to go on vacation because it's just too much. And I think she's correct. It's a lot of work. And I'm just wearing this dress from Mika's for dinner. And I love like the like watercolor like pattern. It's so so pretty and I love the colors like the blues and stuff. I thought it was very tropical. And I'm just wearing it with my clear Steve Madden heels. I just love like the sliding heels so I just thought these would just go with pretty much anything. I brought one other pair of heels and just these. Slip dresses have been my thing for a while now. I just feel like they're just so easy to literally slip on and they just go with any kind of evening you know event that you have to go to okay guys so here's the dress i'm wearing this is from house of cb um this is actually really tight i should have got a medium but it's too late now but it's this really cute like geometric pink orange and black dress um it's so freaking cute but we're waiting on scissors because i still have the tag on this so i mean these are the shoes that i'm wearing <laughs> look at my tag these are the shoes that I'm wearing. These are from Semi Shoes. 
these cute like sparkly shoes um they have like these cute like sparkly butterflies on them um yeah they're super cute Okay guys, so it is day two here in Anguilla. We have had a successful first day yesterday, even though we weren't here for a full day. We still had a good relaxing beach day towards the end of the day, and then we had a good dinner last night. Still obsessed with the hotel. Everybody is so nice here at this resort. We always order fruit on the beach. Um, hopefully they have some truffle fries too, or yeah. We all see this perfection. Hopefully y'all can hear me because it's kind of windy, but it's stunning. That's our beach chair right there because the umbrella's not laid out yet. Each room has their own beach chair, so that's super convenient. It's so pretty out here. Isn't it? I'm ready to go. Me too. I can't wait to get in the water. Yeah. The water was cooler last night because the temperature wasn't as hot, but it's been in the 80s since we've gotten here, and it's supposed to be in the 80s the whole time. Yeah. Oh, that's what we had dinner at last night, right over there. It's called chips. I mispronounced it last night. Chips? I said chips, but it's called chips. Oh, it's called chips. Okay. Yeah. It was really good. I had some lobster risotto with bomb. guys so we've set up camp we got our fruit we got some watermelon oh all my favorites except peaches i never seen them have peaches on vacation like oh yeah resorts. that's so true i wonder why they always had like the these like watermelon honeydew i think it's when you cut into a peach it like starts to um turn what? quickly pineapple strawberries grapes blueberries i'm eating all over so it don't matter I also brought my own snacks to the beach because you know you never know if you want to crave your own snacks. So snack Beach Hall. We always like to have nuts. This is my favorite brand. I got these pomegranate vanilla cashews. They're amazing. And then this is a new one I discovered at the airport. Um, these are the pomegranate pistachios. Y'all, these are so freaking good. I'm obsessed with them. And then Kendra got the honey almonds. Glaze mix. Ooh, I haven't tried these. I'm going to try one of these. Then I have some of these bars. I'm like a mom. I always have snacks. <laughs> I do. I got the apple kind. With these gluten-free peach licorice. Um, so these are bomb too. Yeah, you got to be prepared. You don't want your sugar to get low in the sun and stuff. And then back there, they always bring us a cooler of water. You know. Menu for lunch. So they brought us some complimentary sorbet and ice cream. Of course, I'm gonna have sorbet. I still wanna try it though, this is mine. I like strawberry, it'll look I right up your strawberry. alley. So I'm about to read a little bit. I brought uh. some books for the show. <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks for that. Um, so I'm about to read a little bit. I brought some books for the trip, just two books. Um, Cause I feel like this is the perfect setting to read. I always bring a book on vacation. So this is the first book that I have. I still have not finished it. Um, it's a little bit long. This is quiet and it's about introverts and extroverts. It's really interesting. Like it's so many hidden gems in this book. I've highlighted quite a bit in here and I always read them to Kelsey like when I find something that resonates. But I just feel like it just didn't need this many chapters, you know, like it's too many chapters in here. Uh, so I can't wait to finish it. See, this is how far I am right now. So yeah, I've read all about this much but I just want to get to my novel but it's really good I really like self-help books but sometimes I feel like they can be a little long-winded like they already got to the point in the book so far and I just feel like they're just I feel like it's a little dragged out for me but I, I still really like it generally I always like a novel with me I'm currently reading the shopaholic series from Sophie Kinsella um, this is the uh, shopaholic ties the knot one I think this is the third book in the series, third or fourth book. I always like to have like something light to read. This is just like a fun, like 
cute series. So I brought this one. And then Kelsey's reading The Girl on the Train. Third attempt. Yeah, she's attempted three times to read this book. Are you gonna finish it? I'm gonna try. Okay. Hey guys, so it's later. We're off to dinner. Night two, we're going to a Peruvian restaurant. It's called Uchu. U-C-H-U. Yeah, that thing is called Uchu. That's the name of it. So it's at 8.30. We're ready for dinner a little earlier today because we were running late yesterday. We had a debacle with Kelsey's dress because the tag <laughs> was impossible to get off. I know. House of CB's tags. Like, I know she don't want people to steal it, like, out of the store. But when you order online, like, those should be able to, like, come off. Yeah, it was, like, so thick. Like, you need a good pair of scissors to get these off. Like, yes. you need a machete. Because <laughs> I was so annoyed with this damn tag last yes. night. It was so annoying. Yes. And we had to call the concierge to bring a pair of scissors. Mind you, they're very dull. And I don't know how else you got. How you got that off? I kind of, like, used the scissors as, like, a saw. Oh, so she kind of sawed it off and yeah. it ended up ripping like the thing. Ugh, it was a hot mess. It, it kind of was. Yeah, but we're off to dinner today. I'm wearing like a shorter dress from Zara today. Let me turn the camera around. So I'm wearing this shorter dress from Zara. It kind of looks like a nightgown. I'm not going to lie, but in person it's like a dress dress. But I don't want it to like look too short with the heels that I'm wearing because I love these shoes. Um, so Kelsey said it's not too short, so I'm just going to go with it because I had my denim jacket uh back there but I like it without the jacket because I was just gonna like drape the jacket over my shoulders but I think I'm just gonna leave it um leave it like this these are the shoes that I'm wearing they're from Steve Madden I love these these are my first time wearing them I thought they went really cute with the dress because they're like a croc kind of green like the green on it is like a croc uh leather super cute okay guys so i'm ready i'm using this mirror because i'm obsessed with this light behind our bed isn't it cute like you can turn it down like last night we had it dim but it's bright right now because we're not sleeping i mean you guys can't see my dress that well all the way from over there there we go it's brighter okay here's my dress i like the back mostly because of the cutouts it's like crisscross it looks like a skirt and a crop top from the back but it's a full dress. So I'll put where this is from on the screen because I can't remember at this exact moment, but it's super cute. And I just did my hair up in this cute bun. I just did my hair in this cute bun with these two pieces in the front. This piece was actually longer than this piece, so I had to cut it. Um, but it's just a small piece, so I really don't care. I actually did a reel with this bun. If you guys want like a super like quick tutorial, I did like a three part reel of like three cute curly hairstyles. Um, I'm gonna probably edit that and put it up when we get back home, but I already filmed it. Here's our balcony. I need to turn these lights off. <laughs> this door is hard to open. Okay, yeah, so here's our balcony at night. It was humid out here. Our loungers. Oh, that light's not working. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice balcony at night too. You can just sit out here and I'm obsessed with their tile. It's so pretty. spot for the day the same beautiful view but we were down there yesterday um so we're like maybe seven chairs down from where we were yeah, yeah like seven chairs down but it's fine it's the same gorgeous view just waiting on our food oh by the way we brought our own water today because in this cooler they have a dasani water and i hate dasani water i was wondering why my heart was beating so fast because it has salt in Dasani water. So yeah, that's a no. So we both brought our own from the mini bar and I don't care, I will pay for it because that Dasani water is a no. Okay, we also ordered Chardonnay. This is a lot of wine. This one's from Monterey. Oh, it's a Monterey Chardonnay? Yeah, I like Monterey Chardonnay. So the menu said, I think it's, uh, it said caramel something. Put it on the cooler. She's taking up the whole table. My bag, I'm sorry. She talking about my big old bag. Big ass bag. <laughs> 
Cheers. So our lunch is here. We got fries. We got some ceviche. We got that goes with the ceviche. Okay, we got the ingredients that go with the ceviche. Oh, they're like the sweet potatoes that we had. Oh last yeah, night. those were good last night with yeah. the ceviche we had. Mm -hmm. What kind of ceviche is this? Is that shrimp? This is shrimp ceviche. Oh, they look good. Last night we had salmon ceviche. And I don't eat mayo or, or uh, ketchup. I'm gonna have these fries plain because I'm really picky with my ketchup. But yeah, I feel like we always order fries on the beach. Usually sweet potato, sweet but potato. I wanted regular fries today. Smell good. We are back in the room, freshly showered, skincare is on, and we're about to order some room service. We didn't schedule dinner for tonight because we just wanted to have a night where we didn't go to dinner and we just stayed in and relaxed. So we're gonna order room service for dinner and just watch a movie. Um, the sun makes me like really tired really fast. So I'm kind of tired anyway, and I didn't feel like getting ready for dinner. And tomorrow's our last day. So we're of course gonna do dinner tomorrow night, I think at the Caribbean restaurant. I think it's called Pim's and they have breakfast there in the mornings and Kelsey and I have missed breakfast every morning since we've been here. I'm just not a morning person and especially on vacation I don't want to feel obligated to get up in the mornings to eat breakfast especially since I'm not a huge breakfast person. I usually eat like at brunch time and if I do eat breakfast I don't like to eat too early because I'm not hungry like when I first get up anyway so that sucks that we've missed breakfast since we've been here because they have breakfast there. But we're going to do dinner there tomorrow night. And I feel like this trip has flew by because we tomorrow's our last day and we leave Friday. So, yeah, we're going to watch. I think we're going to watch The Other Woman tonight. I feel like that's like a good vacation movie, even though I watch it on the plane every time I travel. I either watch The Other Woman or The Devil Wears Prada or I'll watch True Beverly Hills. All random, but I think they're really good, like, airplane movies. Cause sometimes I see like the movies they have available on the plane and I wonder like how awkward it is like when you have like random scenes that like you don't want to watch around other people. Like can you imagine watching House of Gucci on the plane? If y'all saw House of Gucci then you know what scene I'm talking about. You don't want to be next to a stranger, you know, watching that. Anyway, so we're gonna have dinner, relax. I feel like this is like a sleepover because we're doing like room service, movie night. It's cute or whatever. So room service is ordered. Order has been placed. Yeah. Yay. That, that lady was probably like, this for two people. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that much. We're going to be in here for the rest of the night. But I want to start. You reminded me about the pineapple juice because they gave us some rum that's over there. Yeah, complimentary rum. And uh, we wanted to drink our rum with pineapple juice. So, yeah. Um, And then last night we had the most amazing sorbet at dinner. Oh, it was bomb. Yes. I didn't know if they had it for room service because they have some items for room service, yeah. some items that you can only get in the restaurant. So yeah. you have not because you asked not. Yes, they had more flavors because at the restaurant last night they just had pineapple and coconut and I think vanilla. And then we had, you had it on the beach yesterday though when I was yes. like passing out the I little like sample thingy. Yeah, I had a pineapple one on the beach. That was good. It was but, so like fresh. Like you saw, you know the one I had yes. at dinner, you can taste like the pieces it's of definitely pineapple. It's fresh. It's definitely homemade. Yeah. Um, But Kendra um reminded me if they had, did, did you ask me if they had some back? Yeah. Well, I decided, to, Kendra reminded me to ask if they had some back. So for room service, they had peach coconut the coconut is my favorite you like the coconut i like the um the pineapple one and the pineapple that i had on the beach yesterday she just said they had honeydew um melon honeydew melon but yeah. i got you peach yeah they have white peach so i'm white gonna have peach. that one Ooh, i'm gonna I'm try excited one of those. wait should we eat that first though because it's gonna it's melt. melt yeah you're right i don't want to have like slushy like an icy yeah yeah probably okay we'll eat it first have my candles lit I usually have like my water also, but I drank all of it on the beach. And then I have another one lighting over there. I like to travel with my candles because it just, you know, creates a nice homey yeah, vibe. it makes you feel at home. Yeah, I feel at home with my candles. Yeah. So I think this this one is called Lazy Sunday Morning. That's from Replica. And then that one is the eucalyptus mint one from, yeah, um, from Ness. From Ness. That one we've been burning the most, like every night it's been helping me fall asleep faster. Yeah. Yeah. The first night I blew it out because you were already asleep. I was like, Oh, should... thank you for blowing it out. Yeah, I was like, Oh, she's trying to burn this place down. All right, 
guys, so it's the last day, last beach day. Well, last day in general. Um, I feel like we just got here low key, but I feel like four nights is like the perfect amount of time for us because we get homesick very quickly. Uh, I just, I love my house. It's just a place of peace. Kind of bittersweet leaving because I honestly don't want to leave this view. I wish I can take this beach view and put it in my backyard. By the way, my bucket hat is from Urban Outfitters. I needed a hat for today because I don't want my forehead to get burnt. And I'm just wearing this cover up from, I think this is from ASOS. Today's bathing suit is by Ina Amorta. Ina Amorta, I think that's how you say it. I don't see our friend, what's her name? Got some fries here. Then the fruit is in here, of course. Yeah, same thing. Yep, get everything but the watermelon. Oh yeah, there's no watermelon. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay guys, so it's our last day on the island and we just saw a rainbow. It's so pretty before the sun setting. Let me show y'all. So pretty. It is now pouring outside. We came in just in time, y'all. We were literally just right, right there. We were literally just right there. We were in the water right before it started raining. And right when we walked up, we saw the rainbow. I got Kendra's picture and I was like, oh, there's a rainbow. And I was like, oh, you usually see a rainbow when it rains. Five seconds later, cut to. All right, guys, I look like an egghead because <laughs> it's like black up here because it's dark outside and then my hair's dark, whatever. We just left the beach and showered, of course. Um, I feel refreshed. I put my hair back in a bun because the last day, every time I'm on a trip, I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I just like to put it back in a bun. And then tomorrow for our flight, I'll probably just um, slick it back like this again and then put it in like a braid. Um, so it's a no makeup and maxi dress night for us. I've been obsessed with this new edge control though. I brought this edge control that I just discovered in Target the other day. This is from Kiss. I'm sure some of you have seen this. This is the edge fixer glued maximum hold and the scent watermelon and the hold level is seven. Y'all this is amazing. It's a biotin infused. I'm obsessed. I, this is my new favorite edge control. I won't use any other edge control. It smells so good. It smells like pop rock candy or something. It smells so freaking good. Like to slick my hair back. But before I put that on, I also put on, well, this is a pattern beauty. <laughs> this is a pattern beauty case. But for travel purposes, I couldn't bring my um, large size as I am smoothing gel. So I just put some of it in here. See, I put it right there. And I use that to slick my hair down first and then I put the edge control just around the, the front of my head. I don't know, for some reason the smoothing gel from As I Am is the only gel that smooths my hair down the best without leaving flakes or anything. It's just amazing. It's like moisturizing, but it still holds the hair so good. The As I Am smoothing gel with this for buns and whatever you're doing, updos, amazing combination, so brought those i haven't even had to use like any refresher products though because it's kind of like humid here like i said and there's a lot of moisture in the air and mine and kendra's hair has like stayed moisturized the entire trip um but i still brought like my little travel sizes um i just put my kinky curly curly custard in here and then my shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie in here but i haven't even had to use them i'll probably use the smoothie in the morning though to put my hair in a braid um, like on my ends or whatever before we go. But yeah. Okay guys, just like that, I'm ready for dinner. The quickest makeup application ever because I didn't wear any. Um, I put on this, let me show y'all what I have on. This Dior Attic Lip Tint, this lip tattoo in the color, yeah, this is in the color 661 Natural Red. I've been wearing this a lot lately. This is like my go-to. And then on top of it, I just put on this Dior Lip Glow Oil, Cherry Oil. I've been liking this too, it's pretty bomb. At first I thought it was overrated. I was like, why do everybody keep talking about this? But then I decided to give it a try and I really like this color. This is in the color Rosewood. And then these gold hoops are from the M Jeweler. So this dress is from Rat & Boa. It's so freaking comfortable. It's really, really long like super long. I think it might be too long, but oh, these are my slippers. I'm wearing those slides. Um, 
because I don't have any black slides, but this dress is so long you won't be able to see them. So I'm just gonna wear the nude ones. But yeah, this dress is so freaking comfortable. It's not too sheer. I thought it would be too sheer because I had one that I wore from Rat and Boa and Positano that I thought would be too sheer. And it kind of was, you can kind of see my underwear, but I wore it at night so you can't really tell. But this one is double lined, so you can't see anything underneath at all. So this is the dress that I'm wearing. This is from ASOS. It's like a like a soft, like lime gold color, and it's like a leopard print. Um, I did not put the slit in here. The slit came with the dress. And it's a halter. So that's what they look like in the back. Love that. Very comfy. I have so many like slip dresses like that are different prints and styles. And I usually get them from ASOS or Zara. Um, that's where a lot of my dresses come from. So this one I haven't worn yet. So I just like to be comfortable, y'all. Also not wearing any makeup. Just got some hoops on, got some lip gloss. Cause you know, that's all you really need on the last day of vacation. Cause we don't, we don't have time for makeup. We just don't feel like it. We gotta pack when we come back. And we just want to relax for the rest of the night. Last night we were up watching Are You The One? Like binge watching it, season four. Um, we used to love that show, so we uh, were re-watching it last night on Netflix. So that's what we're probably gonna do tonight after we pack. Thank you. 